closer. It's the Chrysalis Dam. I'm sensing powerful thought waves. Is this Fukumachi's consciousness trying to free itself from the Chrysalis? It's disappearing. Fukumachi, is it? No, it's not. What the hell? I, I don't know who that is. What is he? Some kind of zoonoid? I don't know. I've never seen one like this before. Whatever he is, I'm sure he's one of the two that were fighting in the sky. <laughs> it's Aptom! That's Aptom? It's really him, huh? <clears throat> Mizuki. Segawa. Uh, but why? What are you doing roaming around in a place like this? That Zoonoid really did a number on you. What the heck happened? Who was that? It doesn't matter. Uh, why do you care what happens to me? Get out of here while you still can. Think about it. What happens if Kronos finds out you're still alive? How did you know? Hey, I remember. You're that... You're that guy with the sunglasses that's always hanging around the apartment. Seriously? <laughs> No way. Don't tell me. So you've been watching over us this whole time? Get the hell out of here! The way I see it, if Fukumachi is still alive, he'll come back to you as soon as he can. I figured if I kept an eye on you guys, sooner or later I'd run into him too. That's the only reason, all right? We aren't alone. Even after all this time, he believes Sho is alive too. Listen. No matter what, I can't have you fall into Cronus's hands. If that happens, or worse yet, if those bastards finish off the Giver One, then I will... I will have lost my purpose to live. Aptom. Go on and get the hell out of here. Stop standing there and go, all right? It could be here any second. Who will? <gasps> it's too late, damn it. Well, well, well. I come to finish off Aptum, and look who I find. Haven't seen you two for a while. Tessera. You're Zectal, aren't you? That's right. You were the leader of the Hyperzoonoid 5. So you remember me, huh? Well, don't run off. I'll deal with you as soon as I'm finished with him. Ah! After what you did to my friends, you should be grateful to have such a merciful death. There's no coming back this time. Die, Abdom! Shinjuku all the way to Loop 6 have been shot down until further notice. Residents are asked to take refuge in Central Park or other hmm. local public facilities. There's something wrong, Shizu. Grandfather, it's Master Akito. <gasps> you can tell, can't you? Remember, you two have always been that way. Where am I? Looks like 
Shinjuku. I see. I must have somehow gotten dragged into the Chrysalis's teleportation. We were moving through some strange subspace, but I don't know why it took us here of all places. Uh, Makishima! Huh? Segawa? I knew it! You were all right after all! But wait! What about Sho? Is he with you? Actually, Fukumachi's inside that thing. But how? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Makishima, what is this weird thing? What the heck happened to Sho? We'll talk later. Since this bastard doesn't know when to die, it looks like I'll have to show him. You've got nothing to back up that tough talk now. No matter. I'm actually happy to see you. I was hoping you were still alive. Now I have a chance to avenge Thandris too. After I destroy you and finish off what's left of Aptum, all four of my friends can finally rest in peace. I've waited a long time for this day. Let's go, Gyver 3! Come and get me! Is Sho really inside this thing? Sho, can you hear me? If you're in there, please answer me. I can hear it. I can hear Sho's heart beating. I knew it! It's Master Ikito! Oh, he's all right after all. <laughs> I'm sorry I was doubting you, <laughs> Akito. <laughs> Stop running and fight like a man! Stronger than I expected. Looks like he's got the power of all five elite hyperzoonoids. Actually, he may be as strong as all of them combined. Look at him making such an outrageous spectacle out there. But since he's the only one suited to dealing with Abtom, we can't risk getting involved. I'm still uneasy about Sektol becoming a lost number. If he decides to act on his own, I won't be able to control him with my thought waves. In fact, I can't even monitor his movements anymore. Who knows what he could do with that power? It's entirely possible that in the process of hunting down that monster, he could become one himself. But in Zektol's case, with the stress of his rushed optimization, his body has already begun to deteriorate on a cellular level. Even if he manages to survive today, he'll be long dead before he has the chance to run amok like Abdon. Hello? Intelligence Department. I want to know the situation at the scene. Send out scouts immediately. Yes, sir. You're not getting away. Ah! Damn you! You're not looking so hot, Diver 3. Where's the bravado? I need to buy some time to use my smasher. I can't believe this. It looks like even Guyver 3 is no match for that thing. Here, give me your hand. Abtom? That guy's just too damn strong. I hate to say it, but he even gives me the chills. What are you trying to do? I'm gonna give the Giver 3 a chance to use his Mega Smasher, because I can't afford to die. Not yet, at least. Aim for his blind spot! doesn't know when to die! Now! What? I don't think so. Did he block it? He used his electro wave knife to split the Mega Smasher in two. Looks like I finally caught you, boy. I have to admit, 
This has been a lot more fun than I expected. But it can't last forever! MacGyver, right? Incredible. He made it. out in my mind. I know because he answered my call. Right, Sho? That's why you're here, isn't it? That's Guyver 1. Ridiculous. Ha <laughs> ha. Obliterated at Mount Minakami. More than that, he seems to have evolved into something else entirely. <laughs> I'll have to go see for myself. I'm concerned about Zektol's actions as well. Dawn is breaking. No. Zektol wouldn't go that far, would he? Stop this foolishness! Don't you know what will happen if you release your power now? Oh, I know. If I use it now with the sun rising, my blaster tempest will eclipse even the Gyrus Mega Smasher. In fact, with this much sunlight, the intensity of the beam will surpass 100 million degrees. This is the true extent of my power. The Gyra will be reduced to ash, with all of Tokyo along with him. Of course, the beam will destroy me as well. 
but I'm willing to pay that price. I've never had long to live anyway, so I might as well go out with a bang. In you. I still believe that a light will pierce the darkness and drive it away. I still believe that someday we'll be able to laugh again under the clear blue sky. And I believe that the one who carries that light is you, Sho. You. It's over. Uh, a Zoanoid? Looks like Kronos has been keeping an eye on us all this time. That's just what I needed. You're a real lifesaver, pal. One more thing. Give Sho a message for me. Tell him I'll be dropping by soon to pay him a visit. I see. So I guess this means we're enemies again, huh? Go on. Say hello. <laughs> Why don't you?